Hey guys, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm Shayla at Virtually Nutritious. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we're gonna be talking about those infamous tea toxes and skinny teas that we see plastered over social media. I know, speaking for myself, scrolling through Instagram, um, I have to admit I do follow some of the Kardashian-Jenner clan. I have seen so many advertisements from them posting about skinny tea detox or detox teas and so that really kind of piqued my interest in what are these things? What are they promoting to their subscribers and followers and typically, you know, young teenage girls? What are they promoting? And after looking into it, I kind of got disappointed. And that's simply because these teas contain an ingredient called senna leaf. And senna leaf, you know, you read it, oh, it's just like a tea leaf. No, a senna leaf is actually what they use in a lot of laxatives that they even use in hospitals. No coincidence that one of the most popular laxative names is called senna or senecot. Um, it is a laxative product. It might be all natural and reading through the ingredients list, you might not be alarmed to see that a leaf would be a part of a tea because it is pretty much what teas are made out of. But that's really the truth about these teas. They don't have any miracle pixie dust in them that's going to help you lose weight. It's really just gonna make you go to the bathroom. And it's a laxative. So your body can become dependent on this. And a lot of these programs that they promote on their websites, you have to drink this tea for 28 days. Well, over the course of those 28 days, when you're exposing yourself to this laxative, you can become dependent on it to have to go to the bathroom. There's no other pleasant way to put it. So not only are you using a laxative and not absorbing things properly from your food, now you're becoming dependent on something to do something as simple as using the restroom. Nobody wants that. Drinking these teas can lead to even more complications. For instance, like I said earlier, you can become dependent on them to use the bathroom. And also, if you're taking them at night, you know, if you're on a certain medication or if you're taking something like an oral contraceptive around the same time, you cannot absorb those things. So on top of, you know, becoming dependent on it to move your bowels, you're now maybe not absorbing the hormones from your oral contraceptive or better yet, the expensive prescriptions that you're paying for that you have to take for other purposes are not going to have their full effect on you because this laxative is pushing everything through your GI tract a lot sooner than it should be and therefore you're not absorbing things. So yeah, you're not absorbing the calories from the food you're eating, but you're also not absorbing the vitamins and the minerals and the really important things that you should be absorbing from your food. And aside from, you know, the weight loss teas, the flat tummy teas, there are tons of them out there. There's a flat tummy tea, there's a skinny tea tox, there's slender tea, and I'm sure there are countless other ones out there that I just am unaware of. Aside from those, they have all these detox teas. What are you detoxing yourself from? Our bodies were built with filtration systems in them. You have liver, you have kidney, we have two kidneys. So unless those aren't functioning properly, your blood is being detoxified every time it passes through your organs. So the fact that they're advertising these as detox, get rid of all of these toxins in your body and purify your body, I'm sorry, but that's a bunch of baloney. Your organs do that for you. There's no toxic sludge floating around in your blood, and if there is, that's a different problem. So what I recommend, you know, if you're feeling lousy and you feel like you have all these toxins built up or maybe you had a weekend of eating foods that you don't typically eat, maybe you went to, I don't know, something like the New York State Fair and had deep fried butter over the weekend or it was somebody's birthday and you did a little bit maybe more indulging than you should have, just going back to a healthful diet is good enough. And just by, you know, getting back into a healthy lifestyle, you're going to feel better. You don't need any crazy teas. Drink a glass of green tea. Drink a coffee, drink lots of water, stay really hydrated, get moving, get outside, get some exercise. I know it's getting cold out so you can't really go out and do all the things you want to do, but get moving, eat lots of fruits and vegetables, stay away from the fried food, and you'll notice yourself feeling 
better than ever after that without having to give your money into any of these 28 day cleanse teas or detox teas because quite frankly they're just a waste of money so i hope that this helped clarify some confusion about these teas um that's not to say that if you know you have trouble going to the bathroom and you've gone to a doctor and you've seen them and they've told you you need to rely on something like senna that you shouldn't take it that's a totally different story but to use it for weight loss is not something i would ever endorse like i said the only healthy way to lose weight is to have a calorie deficit you burn more energy than you're putting in whether that's increasing your physical activity or watching your portion sizes and making healthier swaps but that's a chat for a different day and if you do need help with any weight loss goals you may have check out my website i'd be willing to help anybody and if you want any more information on today's topic i'll link a blog post that i wrote below as well for more information thank you so much for watching